What's up, YouTubers? So I thought I'd take you to downtown Oklahoma City. Got a nice little canal system down here and uh, a lot of stuff to see, so let's check it out. Uh, no, but we have high fives. <laughs> <laughs> we got smiles. So today is uh, July 8th, Saturday, and I think we're going to head down to the Riverwind Casino again and hit up some 1-2 at the uh, cash game. They don't really have too many tournament options, so I've been sticking to cash games and uh, been doing pretty well lately. Um, decided to implement the uh, cutoff when I start going down, and uh, my last three sessions have been in the positive. Uh, made over $600 just in uh, the last three sessions. So. See if we can do it again tonight and get some filming in. 2,000 seconds later. All right, so it looks like they're doing the uh, taco truck slash concert thing again this weekend. I think they're doing it every three weeks or so on Saturdays, but uh, today there's a lot less people out here. It's really hot and humid, so I'm gonna get something to eat and then uh, head back to the casino. But check it out. Fish tacos. He means chicken tacos. So if you're ever at Riverwind Casino on a Saturday and all of these food trucks are out here, go to the Farm Fresh truck and get the chili lime chicken tacos. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. So good. Well, I'm fed up. Let's go play some poker. So as I've mentioned before, there is a policy at the casinos in Oklahoma where my cell phone can't touch the table. So filming is still a challenge. There was a hand I really wanted to share with you guys though that I didn't film. So I'm just gonna walk you through it while you see other footage from the table in the background. So in this specific hand, I'm in middle position and two players limp ahead of me. I look down to find ace-king offsuit, so I decide to raise it up to $10. It folds around to a tight aggressive player in the big blind who calls. The other two limpers fold, so we go heads up to the flop. The flop comes out 10, jack, 3 with two spades. So I pick up a gut shot and decide to make a continuation bet of $15 into the pot of roughly $25. And the big blind decides to call. The turn is the king of spades, so we make a pair, but the flush and the straight get there, and the big blind leads out for $50. So I go into the tank here, um, but after thinking about how this player has been playing, uh, he's fairly aggressive and I've seen him take down a lot of pots. Um, I decide to call thinking he's likely been floating me. So the river's a brick and the big blind immediately shoves. But I don't know that he actually looked at my remaining stack before he shoved all in uh, because I only had $45 behind. 
to call, I'd be putting in $45 into a pot of over $155, which really gives me fairly good odds. So after thinking for a minute, I make the decision to go ahead and call. He says good call, and when I turn over my ace king, he mucks, saying he had a jack and a spade for a busted draw, um, and that he can't believe I called him. But, you know, most times I would have folded in this situation, but I'm beginning to learn how to better adapt to making choices based on the player types. And so in this specific hand, we actually doubled our stack from 130 to a little over 260 with the other players that had folded preflop. So that was a fun hand that I went through and I wanted to share that with you guys. In this hand, my cards are just out of view of the camera, so you can't see what I have, but um, I'm in middle position and have pocket nines. I raise it up to $10. I get a couple of callers, so we go about four ways to the flop. The flop comes out ace, queen, deuce. Uh, this is good for my range because I was the first to act, so I go ahead and make a continuation bet with my pocket nines, and in this situation it actually works, so we take down this pot. In this hand, we are in middle position again, and we look down at pocket aces. I make a standard bet of $10, and we don't get any callers. Sometimes you can't get any callers on your aces, but I guess, hey, they didn't get busted. After the aces, we were getting fairly card dead, and my stack was pretty nice. So I decided to call it a night and cash out. Alright, so another session completed here at Riverwind, and we cashed out for 200 and we are officially in the positive, back from the negative. So that's a, a nice little change of pace. I've won the last uh, five sessions that I've played, so I'm pretty happy about that. In honor of my win, Riverwind Casino decided to shoot off some fireworks. Either that or it was close to the 4th of July. One of the two. Thanks for watching.